Brian with Emotimo. Today we're going to be talking about unboxing and playing around with your SA 2.6 for the first time. Pull it on out, hook up the power, connect a remote, connect a motor, get your RS gimbal attached to it. We'll show you how. Here's what's in the box. You've got your controller. You've got your remote. Additionally, we have power options, which include our AC adapter and a D-tap to 2.1 millimeter connector. Also what's in the box is a very special component, the RSI. This is the piece that goes through and actually connects to your RS gimbal. This is the cable that connects the SA2.6 to the RSI. We also include a standard USB cable for charging your PS4. And we also have an SD card, which plugs into the sides for firmware upgrades, saving moves. Hold on to this, don't lose it. That's pretty much what's in the box. Let's move on from there. First things first, powering your SA2.6. We're gonna plug on into a standard V-mount battery, gold mount battery, anything with a D-tap or P-tap. Plug on in here, and on the back of the spectrum, this port, the 2.1 millimeter uh, barrel connector, is where we plug it on in. There's no power button. You power it up, it goes. In about two or three seconds, you're gonna be live. Navigation with this is possible with the eight-way joystick on the side. Selection is clicking on in. So we can move our way around, we could adjust settings, we could jump back up. Um, there's a lot we can do even without the remote attached. But that being said, most users get the most out of connecting up a gaming remote. And typically we're gonna be including the PS4 DualShock with this. The one that comes with your SA2.6 is prepared. So all you have to do is press and release the center button the back will flash slowly and eventually turn blue when it pairs on up. At this point, you know you're live because the navigation is gonna reflect that. From here, we've got power, we've got a remote connected. Let's hook up a motor. The back of this, you're gonna see these ports, the M1 and the M2 motor port. For all sliders, we're plugging into the M1 motor port and I actually have a Dana Dolly integration kit motor separated from the Dana Dolly. You take the keyed connector here, and push it into the, the SA2.6. It's locking, we typically lock this on down. Most times you're gonna wanna do this with the power off. If you ever hook up a motor when it's plugged on in or hot plugging it, it can go into a protection mode. So best practice is to always hook this up when the rig is off. We're going back to our main menu and I'm going into live motion. And at this point, you can see with our left to right control, we're driving this motor. We've got our SA2.6 powered. We've got the remote connected. We've got our first motor connected as well. We're ready to go through next, show you how to hook up your DJI RS gimbal. First things first, make sure you are mounted, balanced, and that you've calibrated for your camera. We're not gonna show you how, there's lots of tutorials on this. When we power on up our RS3 Pro gimbal here, we see we're in good shape by having that green indication. Go to pan tilt follow mode by selecting this slider switch on the side. We like medium follow speed. Swiping up, use joystick speed medium, joystick smoothness medium. One more setting in the deeper in the menu is something called push mode. And we like turning that on for both pan and tilt so this is poseable. At this point, we're ready to start hooking things up. The first thing we have is this RSI. It comes from a Motomo in your kit, and it is basically, basically a dongle that sits on the side and connects over here. I'm gonna attach this to this position on the right-hand side, so I leave the left-hand port available for another focus knob, or more often if you're using a power base, there's an arm which actually grabs a hold of that port. This has a little button on it for selection. It also has a little tally light up top. Take your cable, flat six pin side and push it into the RSI. You'll hear it click, give it a quick tug to make sure it's locked on in. On the back of the SA2.6, far left hand port is the CS port. We're gonna line up our connector, plug it on in, click to lock, give it a quick tug. We're actually in a live mode right here. Our remote's already connected, which means that now we have the full command and control of the RS gimbal. I've got pan, I've got tilt, I even have roll. If my focus was hooked up on these triggers, I could be managing that as well. You're ready to go.